the one million hour milestone is a tremendous achievement, especially in this short period of time. And it means to me that what we did, the guesses we took, the chance we took, the risks that we took in developing the aircraft are all now proven. I'm Nick Lapos. I was the Chief Research and Development Test Pilot, and so I was first involved in 92 in helping to develop the cockpit concepts for our customers. Later on, after being the test pilot on the aircraft, I became the program manager, and I actually helped to lead the team that developed the aircraft. Back in 1996, I was a hydraulic and mechanical controls engineer on the project as well, do doing uh, design and testing of the flight control systems. Of course, the team was a broad team across the entire company. We had engineers, we had the people who work on logistics, the folks who helped design the uh, support equipment, the, help, the folks who helped to establish logistics network for the aircraft. But an executive committee put out just a three-page requirements document for the next commercial helicopter. It had to be 19 passengers, it had to fly 400 miles, set a new economic point at the time it was $800 per flight hour, uh, in direct maintenance costs, set a new safety standard. And at the time, a very senior engineer, Andy White, who was involved in designing the original Blackhawk, drew up the first lines for the S-92, literally in a closet. We took Andy's lines and we made a full-scale mock-up of the S-92. So, I mean, it looks like the real thing, but look at the tail number on there, March 15, 1992. I think you know one of the things we're all just the most proud about is the safety record that, that the 92 has uh, uh, created here as we're celebrating the, the millionth flight hour. Just the safety features we designed into it from the start, the flaw tolerant design and things like that have just really shown their value now through the million million hours. And that's something we should all be really proud of. One of the aspects of the S-92 design is that we actually tried to change the federal regulations and help bring the aircraft further into the future uh, for safety and for reliability than the FAA had previously demanded. The biggest challenge was the um, FAA certification of a, a, a system that had never been certified before. So there was a lot of learning on both sides, on our side and on the FAA side. Um, a lot of the folks that were on the team actually became some of the experts in the field, and today they still are. One of the great things that the S-92 shows is how a team of people can work together. Sikorsky is a team, and every one of us contributed in some way. Folks who work in the front offices, folks who work in the, in the line building the aircraft, the folks who designed the aircraft, the folks who imagined what it could do, the folks who are out there helping the customers fly the aircraft. Every one of us are part of that team that made the S-92 what it is today. It takes a huge number of people to make an S-92 successful. The supply chain, the purchasing, the operations, the engineering, the operators, the pilots. So thanks a million for the first million flight hours on the 92. Tremendous job by everyone.